Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. What's good, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. This is your host, John Stewart. As always, it's an honor to share this time and space with you and talk about topics on the journey of self-discovery. And this week's topic is one of the greatest insights that turned into a personal practice of mine. And it was shared with me by my brother from the same universal mother, Jedi. Transformation through habituation. And with that, there's an action piece. Transformation through habituation. The action piece, there's a personal responsibility with transformation. Transformation means to go beyond form. And when we honor our commitment with inspired action, transformation is a natural byproduct rather than an expected outcome. When we accept the challenge of living our truth, our soul's yes, our heartfelt desire, we lean into our greatest vision, one choice at a time. These choices are what set our habits. And our habits are repeated choices. So remember a time that you fell on top of the world? Just nothing could stop you. Maybe you won an event, or you got an award, or you received a compliment, or you met the person of your dreams. A lot like when you smell a particular scent. You could be transported back in time to the very place it happened. So remember that time that you fell on top of the world. What did that feel like? Can you imagine that moment right now? You can almost feel the same experience, right? Energetically. It's like we're there. We feel it. It's palpable. Such a potent awareness. How can we tap into that energy to create a lasting reality that's in alignment with our soul's yes? Right there is the key to living on purpose. For the moment, in the moment, with the moment, as the moment. The magic of the moment is in the breath. Magic is literally in the air. When we place our attention on our breath, the inhale, the exhale, simply follow it. And when any thought breaks our focus on the breath, we return our attention to the flow of the inhale and the exhale. And just simply following that with our consciousness, with our awareness, This creates such an intimate experience with the foundation of any successful transformation. The power of conscious choice, focused intent, firm resolve, and presence. Now it can definitely be a challenge, though with great challenge comes great reward. We begin to shift our neural pathways to align that reward network with the power of choice. And we can look to the innate wisdom of children for taking baby steps. How many times does a child fall, bump their head, get bruised, though they keep on going until they walk, then run? They don't blame the ground for the failure to remain standing. They're persistent, consistent. There's that childlike curiosity. They meet the challenge without getting stuck in their head. And when they meet that challenge and overcome that challenge, there's so much joy embodying that energy and taking baby steps. How many of us have had New Year's resolutions? Maybe some of you still have some now. Or maybe at some point you wanted to start eating healthier, being more physically active, learning something new. Maybe quitting smoking, caffeine, alcohol, drugs. 
Now, whether it's creating a positive habit or stopping an unhealthy one, the potential, the amount of energy required to create a positive one or stop an unhealthy one are one and the same. And being that we're creatures of habit, there's always an opportunity for growth. And when we tune in and become consciously aware of the potency of our choices and what we set in motion at the moment of that choice, that's what's rippled out as a waveform. That's what is broadcast. That's what's sent out and echolocates and comes back as a reaction or a response. Tuning in to our choices is essentially harmonizing our mind, body, and spirit. Fundamentally sound choices. It creates a framework for us through the matrix of our choices, the pathways laid before us. One of the gifts that I cherish from my father that's passed is a mug that says, Miracle shall follow miracle. Wonder shall never cease. It's a quote by Florence Scovelshin that has really been the framework of my life, of my practice, my belief system. For as we connect with ourselves and tune in with our surroundings, we build momentum with choices that are in alignment with our souls, yes, our heartfelt desire, that lean into our greatest vision. As that momentum begins to build, as I said earlier, that energy is palpable. There's a vibe. The vibe is thick. Embracing transformation, feeling it, believing in our self, the divine within. For when we journey within, we are never without. On the path of transformation, there may not be many, though the few that are, or the spark to keep that flame going. And we so got this. And sharing in this experience, in the joy, in the adventure, in our transformation as it unfolds, is the amplification of love. For when we hold that with integrity, with grace, from a place of reverence, we tap into our unlimited potential, our true self. And we begin living life on purpose, in right relationship. And when we take care of ourselves, everything else begins to take care of itself. Thank you all once again for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. Truly is just an incredible experience to share this time and space with you. To be able to share what is on my heart to be able to share guests that are passionate, that are intentional, that operate with integrity and are of service to humanity, to all in creation. So if anything in this podcast or any of the previous episodes inspired you, touched you, moved you, share this with your social media, share it with your friends. Let's reverberate and spread the love. This is how we can co-create a more sustainable and harmonious coexistence with all in creation. Let's amplify our love. And remember, we are better together. Have an amazing day. As the sun rises, we wake each day with a question. You know what that question is, don't you? The one that rests in the cavities of your subconscious, playing hot and seek, knocking at the temples of your conscience. It's not so much the question, it's that you know the answer. You know, it's right there. You could just about touch it, taste it. I know you've been there. Yeah, you've seen the light. That inner glow from the depths of your soul is calling out to you. You too are a seeker. For the beacon that shines inside, are you ready to take it to another level? High above the sky, yet deep within your soul. Or
is this reality? Ask yourself. You know the answer. It's right here. Are you ready to take it to another level? High above the sky, yet deep within your soul. Elevate. 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 Elevate.